Hi everybody, this is Marcelo Fonseca from Brazil and uh, uh, I'm here to talk to you about the Smart Pulse and the Transepithelial PRK, actually it's called Smart Surface now. Uh, well, I, I must confess that I, when, I, when I begin my, my refractive practice and we begin in the early 90s, we use broad beam lasers and so I, I had to, uh, to see patients with a lot of pain and discomfort after after the PRK procedure. Um, so uh, uh, I transformed myself actually into a LASIK surgeon. And first with the LASIK and then with the Fentolasix. So I had to deal with so many complications, as you know, incomplete flaps, buttonholes, dislocated flaps, uh, epithelial ingrowths, folds of the striae. Uh, even when, when the Fenton laser came, it, it brought something new as a uh, OBL and um, some, some sort of issues with, uh, with the flap itself. So uh, for the first time now with, with the smart tools in combination with the transepithelial PRK, I can offer my patients uh, a really non-touch procedure which much less pain, especially using mitomycin C and uh, with a very, very smooth surface and a fast recovery, especially uh, visual acuity recovery. So I, I think that this technique came to, to at least compete with LASIK in, in my practice and we are very, very happy with it. Thank you.